All right, hi guys. Um, just thought I'd show you a couple of things on the Jensen Fire range. If you notice, we have a load of Tonka Toy models. Now, why are these relevant? Well, they show they show all the armor locations on the vehicles. As you see, the Logi truck's got no armor, whereas your Abrams has a lot of armor. Now, generally, if you hear anything on the front, it's a lot harder. Have a look at the striker. The front armor on that is five star. Now, how specifically that actually works, I'm not too sure, but you don't want to be hitting it if you can help it. Generally, if the weapon can't penetrate, it's not going to do any damage to it. Also, in the latest alliteration, you've got um, ammo compartments and engines. So you can see the green is the engine, and the red is the ammo compartment. If you hit the engine, the vehicle will either not move, or the engine will show damage state, or you can't actually fire it, it should disable the gun. So each vehicle has its own armour and ammo location. Now the reason that I wanted to run through this little video, I thought I'd explain something with regards to the RPG-7. Now it's now got a sight, which in itself shouldn't be too drastic and yeah, so it's pretty cool having a sight on it um, but it has two little options on there there's a measuring gauge now if you haven't used the hat kit or the RPG 7 it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve well, I thought I'd just point this out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change over to RPG let's pick it up you see RPG 7 V2 bring up the sight. Now if you can see, hopefully you can, I might turn the sight a bit, uh, something lighter, oh, right. that's probably as good as you can get. You see there's two gr grid marks there. The top top one it shows you on the left hand side, two meters, two, three, four, five. That is for your RPG-7. Yeah, this is for the, the standard round. As you notice it's got it on the sides. It doesn't allow you to set the range, it's default in 100. So that top small circle is 100 metres. So if I aim that little cross, the little cross, not the big cross, at that I should hit. Yep, nice hit, huh? Now, if I change reload, once again bringing up the sight, now looking at something at about 200 metres. Now, the square part, if I hold it up to the sun, if you see the, the two, or the top part, that should be 200 metres. So, holding it at two, pointing it at the vehicle, pop. Good hit. Can you see the difference? Alright, one last demonstration in there. So we now know that the top part is effective. Now you might be thinking, well, what? Sweet, why are you bothering to run through this? Well, it's the hat kit. If you look at that top line and you think, yeah, I can do that, that's the same thing in the RPG-7. We go over and we get ourselves the, the hat kit, which is one of the most useful kits in the game, for against armour, of course. And we bring it up, and then we bring the sight up to rise and think, oh yeah, this is all really good. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to use the, that bottom mark and I'm going to fire at that, that um, BTR at 100 metres using the second little t cross. Pop it. Doesn't even get 50 metres. Massive mistake. Now, if you reload, as I do. Now, if you look at the bottom side of the, the scale, there happens to be a ranging mark. It goes one, one and a half and two. Can you see that on the scale? Hopefully you can. Now if I go at 1 and fire at that BTR this time, I'm a bit short because a tandem round is a bit heavier than a standard. So even though it says 100 metres, they're lying to you. Think about 80 to 90 metres. So now if you say, right, that's 100 metres, I'm going to put it at the top of the vehicle. Yeah, I'm going to go for it from there. And then let rip. Chill again. Mm, must be a bit more than 100 away from there. Sorry, even the, even the best can miss. 
Uh, let's try again. Just over. So it looks about right. Now, the same principle then goes, what's the bottom parts? Well, if you imagine 980, so 1880 is 160. So the 1.5, so it's times 1.5, that should hit that BTR at, at that range. So here we go, let's go for a shot. So you're seeing that it's times one and a half range. Which in theory should be 1920. But if you just work it as that plus half, yeah? So at this, so this is double, so this should be two, 200 odd. Let's pop in it there. So successfully managed to get a few hits in there. Right. So you now know that it's can be a bit a bit inflexible or a bit inaccurate, but generally if you work along the lines that the the two is a multiplier of two, the one is a multiplier of one on the range. So you know it stops a bit lower, so you need to bring it up. So one fifty, in theory you should be about that one and a half, yeah. So let's go. Hold shift to stabilise. And I'm going to aim at the bottom of it this time. The top, as you see, it may drop lower. So let's see where it goes now. Short. Aim for the top of the vehicle this time. Because you want it, it's got an arc where it's firing in on it. One and a half at the turret. Hmm. Might help if I shot at the 150 mark vehicle. <laughs> Should we try that again? So that's one and a half. And it's around on the vehicle, yeah? Right, so it's not majorly precise. Hey, what is? Okay, so now take take the site again. Now we've got the Abrams. Now, strangely enough, I've had more explosions from Abrams when we're hitting them on the side. So I like to, if you aim on the middle section, there's going to be a bit of a drop. So I'm aiming on the one because that mark across there is 100 meters, and we pop it now. It stops moving. Oh, damn, man. Okay, let's do that again. Top of the vehicle. And it hits and should start burning. Is it burning? Yay, smoke. No, it's minor. So it does vary when you hit. Three of those I hit today at the side just blew up straight away. Or fired and then blew up. But, so you understand, with a hat kit, use the second, the lower part, scout, and then pop it. You've got more chance of exploding. Generally, if you're going to use um, a round on, a, on an Abrams, if you can hit it with a normal round first, that takes it down about a quarter. That should mean when you use the hat on it, it then goes goes down completely. Goes up in one. So, uh, I think that's about it. Well, guys, I just thought I might give you a little rundown on the scope. Having fun. Ciao, lads.